I've already shuffled and I'll be also using two Oracle cards for your recent past. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go through the path, we'll go through the um, the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So Aries, in the recent past we have separation. It says separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then it's paired with compassion. And on the flip side of the card, compassion, it reads, be gentle with yourself. You are a magnificent soul. So in the recent past, uh, you could have experienced a separation of some sort. Um, it's saying it's from your partner. Uh, okay, and uh, it probably caused some hardship or maybe some feelings of um, insecurity or some un or some type of feelings that didn't feel good okay and you needed to remember to bring compassion to yourself and be gentle with yourself and um, just know that you're a magnificent soul so maybe it had you feeling like you weren't and you, you needed to remind yourself that the separation um, you need to remind yourself not to let it bring you down. And find ways to uplift yourself. Because, once again, you're a magnificent soul. That's what these two cards are about. And that will be for the recent past. So, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries are going to be over for a while. And that things in general, they'll be going better than you thought possible. So, you want to make sure you enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and your happiness with others. When uh, the six, I'm sorry, when the nine of pentacles is referring to relationships and love, if you're currently committed, you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If there are some single Aries out there listening and you're unattached and you're looking, this card it tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be in a new meaningful deep love could be headed your way soon. So that's with the Nine of Pentacles and it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better. Particularly with regards to money, the pinnacles, they mean coins, cash. Uh, pinnacles is an indicator of finance. So, it also speaks of, the Six of Pinnacles speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. When this card appears in a reading, you're likely to be heading into a very positive cycle. Not just a positive day, but a positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you are either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So you need to share, or you should try to share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. And when you're asking about love and relationships and you get the Six of Pentacles, if you're already committed, um, the Six of Pentacles points to happy a happy, generous, fair, and balanced relationship for at least a while. So allow your lover to give to you, whether it's material or spiritual. And at the same time, make sure you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If there's some single Aries out there who are listening, and you get the Six of Pentacles in a reading, it means that you're likely to meet someone new who's positive, kind, and generous. This could come about by way of introduction from someone you know. So make sure you're letting people know that you're looking for a partner. So, for your present time, Nine of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, two very uplifting and positive cards in the tarot, and they're both about money. Like I said, the pin Pentacles is an indicator of 
coins, cash, dividends. It's about money. So there's nine of pentacles. Uh, your money is going to pick up in a really good way. And it's, your financial worries should be over for a while. And the six of pentacles is pretty much the same thing. Um, except for along with except for with the nine of pentacles it could be work that your income is going to increase but with the six of pentacles you, someone could be giving you something the beneficiary of something of value so that's a difference in the two um, but they're both about being happy and generous and fair so they're both really happy cards and prosperity so that's a difference in the two though someone could be giving you something of value um, and then the other one is about like I said probably your work is going to be good and it'll bring in uh, uh, more money than you thought or something like that but um, that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at the person that you're dealing with. How they view you, how they see you. Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Now, to explain the Ace of Pentacles, it's about finding new beginnings on several levels, not just one. This is a very, very positive new beginning. You're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You should, well, you could be starting something new very soon. This start could be in the realm of work or personally. But either way, it's going to be a good thing with this Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, when it talks about love and relationships, if you're committed it's going to rise to new and better heights really soon. The two of you will reconnect. And if you're single and looking for a relationship and love, um, this is a positive time to get out and meet people. Something new could start. Very, very promising in terms of love. So be prepared and think positive. Also have fun. Remember, that's important too, to have fun. And so, the person you're dealing with in this connection, they see you as a new positive beginning for them. They see you in a really good, great way. They see you like a new beginning. You're fresh of breath air. And being that it's paired with this justice card, now the justice card, if you're questioning whether you or, or your partner will stay together, uh, often the answer is you choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you're single, this is a time when commitment, it could be coming very shortly. So stay clear on what you want most from a relationship or out of a relationship. And, you're likely to find it that much sooner. That's what the justice is for love and relationships. So the person you're dealing with in this connection, they see you as a bright new beginning on several, several levels, not just one. But uh, they also see you as uh, walking away from the connection. Yep, they sure do. They see you as walking away from the connection, but they really, um, they like you a lot. They want you to be their new beginning. Okay, so that's how they see you. Now let's move on down. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a Ten of Wands and the Death card. Okay, I guess that's why you're walking away from the connection. 
So the Ten of Wands, just to explain it to you, it's about feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. It's going to be important for you to pace yourself at this time. Don't take on too much. When we're asking about love and relationship questions and you get the Ten of Wands, it signifies a hard place in a relationship. It can mean that your partner, your lover, is undergoing a rough time. And it has nothing to do with your relationship, but needs your support. However, it indicates that there is something in the relationship that needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. You will not gain anything by pretending that the connection or relationship has no problems. So, if there's some single Aries out there listening, if you're in the market for love, don't despair. Your time will come eventually, but perhaps now is not a good... Well, perhaps now is a good time to stop your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. So this is how you're seeing the person that you're dealing with. You see them as a heavy burden. You see them as a rough time. Or you seek or you could see them just having a rough time with this connection. Or like I said, maybe you you're seeing them as a heavy burden. They're just too much for you. And being that it's paired with the death card, the death card is about clinging to a relationship that person is probably unhappy in because they don't want to let go of something that's familiar or because they hate the thought of being alone or could be something like that uh, but you have to remember you're doing neither yourself or your partner any favors if this is the case so you need to have a frank and honest discussion about problems that you have in the relationship and if they can't or won't make changes or you won't or can't then perhaps it's time to let it go not all relationships are fixable but you should try so you see them as a heavy burden um, and you also um, see them as you think they're unhappy in this connection or that they could just be sticking around out of familiarity or because they're familiar with you. Yeah, you could be thinking that they're with you just because they don't want to let go of what they're familiar with. Or they just hate to be alone. So you're seeing them as a burden for you. Yep, that's what we have. So that's how you see them. And let's move on over to why it's all happening. We have the Seven of Cups and the Devil card. Now, the Seven of Cups is about choices. It indicates confusion and can even point to disorganization and too much going on. This card, it points to a need to narrow your focus. When it happens, you, well, when this card is in your reading as it is, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So you'll have to try to choose a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could be feeling overwhelmed. Remember that you can control at least some areas how much you're trying to take on. You can control it. 
when we're asking about relationships and love and you get the seven of cups someone or you may have several romantic choices so you need to be very clear and specific about what you want in a relationship evaluate your choices carefully and thoughtfully be honest and as clear as you can be with all people involved including yourself then move ahead you want to beware of falling in love in a rush because that happens only at the beginning of a relationship. No relationship does that rush last forever. Good relationships, even soulmate relationships, they will settle into a less rush-based comfort zone at some point. Keep in mind this does not mean that you have to stay in a rut. So why this is all happening is because someone either has too many options, too many choices, or they just got too much going on that's causing a lot of disorganization. Yet someone needs to narrow their focus because uh, it's causing a lot of overwhelmed feelings in this connection. And being that it's paired with the devil card, now... To explain the devil card, it's about, well, if you're in a long-term relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they feel as though they're trapped in a situation. If you're getting this signal, you need to try to talk, talk a lot about it. And if you want to save the relationship, that's what you must do with this, de with this devil card. Um, this card it also sometimes appears when there's really nothing that can be done but to end an unhappy relationship. We always have choices, so just know that. Take steps to keep the magic alive. Yep, so that's the devil, devil card. The devil card is also about devil energy, such as addictions. Greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, uh, just things that we feel like that are out of our control. Uh, overeating, heavy drinking. So it's all happening, like I said, because um, someone has too many options. They're juggling. Uh, maybe they're seeing more than just you maybe that could be the too many choices or like I said just just a need to get more organized and narrow their focus and like I said you've got this devil card here there's also some addictions there's some addictions in this connection uh, that's making you or your person or maybe the both of you feeling out of control or like your life is not in control and it's causing a problem in this connection so someone needs to get it together work on it and talk a whole lot if they want the connection to to, to uh, continue uh, yeah so that's why it's all happening so Aries I hope you enjoyed this reading there's going to be a link below of the, of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's a link for personal reading below in the description box. So I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I am hoping that you have a great day. I'm hoping you enjoy it. You're enjoying 2020. And I just want to say once again, thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day. 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 Day.